everyone, this is Tammy at Snowstorm Crafts. And if you're new here, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. So today we are gonna play with some mixed media stuff. So we got some paints out. I got my silicone mat underneath and I have some heat and bond is what it's called. And it's just a, this is what it looks like. It's just an iron on adhesive and it's just for sewing and you can use it in quilting stuff. Uh, it's great for all that, but we're gonna do some painting on it today. And this is what it looks like. So you can get it like at a quilt store or I don't know if you can get it at Walmart or not. Actually, let me know in the comments if you guys know that one. I'm not sure if you can, but maybe. I don't see why not, but this is the packaging that I cut off and it's just a big roll. And you get a good amount of it like that. So this is really fun to play with. I have lots of it and you know, I use it with sewing stuff and I was like, well, let's try doing a little bit of fun painting on it. So get your paints out and let's get started. Okay, so I got my paintbrush, just any old paintbrush will do and my water. And let me show you what paints I have down today. And I just put it on my silicone mat here. So I'm using the Apple Barrel Nutmeg. And it's nice to have just more of a liquidy uh, paint than a thicker one. But if you're using the thicker one, we're gonna go ahead and just use our water bottle and spray down and you can even spray the paint. So either way, it doesn't matter. Uh, and then this is just the Liquitex Yellow Oxide. So I got a mixture here of different kinds. Uh, some more apple barrel and it's just classic caramel. I'm kind of sticking with maybe, you know, look at little fall colors. Raw Sienna, just Windsor and Newton, but anything you guys have works. Apple barrel, uh, this is Sherbert or lime Sherbert. So those are the colors I have here. Okay, and then we're just gonna take a little spritz just to get it wet. If you want, you can water down your paint. And we're just gonna play here. So just however you wanna do it, we're just gonna start by just putting down some color. I mean, there really is no rhyme or reason here. And I got my napkin just in case I wanna just kinda get some color off. Maybe go to some of the lime sherbet. So we're really just putting color down just to see and show you guys. Okay, this is the raw sienna. And the classic caramel. And yellow oxide. Kind of fun just to, you know, mix them up, see what we come up with. And they're just super fun to play with. So just put your color down. I just wetted it first, wetted everything, and just kind of just run it along and see what you come up with. And I will grab a dry piece and see what we can play with it. Okay, I want to show you guys real quick if you take it after you get the colors on and just kind of go like that with it. You could see. And it's kind of fun just to do little markings in it. Like that. And then just leave it to dry and we'll see how it turns out. All right, so we got some finished ones here, as you can see. So they all turned out really cool. big one. So let's see. So it's got a peel on it where you can just uh, peel it. And it's like a plastic. It's just you got to get it started. That's the fun part. So see it's got a little plastic that you could peel off of it. And this is the stuff that when you iron it, this is like a glue that adheres to uh, 
like your fabric and different things like that. So, so let's see what we can do here. I mean, look at that. Is that really cool? It's not sticky. So, I mean, it's not sticky at all. So that's good. You don't want it sticking to everything right now. So it's kind of neat. And then you just got this. That's the other side of it. Um, this is like a matte finish, so it would be kind of cool to keep this, you know, and use it in a journal. I think that would be fun paper to use. So, how cool is that? All right, so let's see. So this is what we got. Is that really neat? It kind of reminds you of a uh, acrylic skin, you know, like if you let the acrylics dry and then peel it. So that's super fun. Okay, now... Let's incorporate it into a journal. I just got my little art journal here. Okay, let's see. All right. So I'm thinking let's do something fun this side. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my gesso and my water and glue, which is just 50-50, which is 50 water and 50% uh, PVA glue. And I'm going to probably glue down some dictionary pages and then put a little gesso over the top. And then we could do some fun things and incorporate this into our journals. So I'm gonna do that in a time lapse. Okay, so I glued my dictionary pages down, then added the gesso on top, the white, it just, it's just white gesso. And then I did a little spritz just to kind of spread it all around. And now I'm thinking while it's wet here, oh, nice, let's just rip it. Look at that, that's a nice rip here. So let's just do a little rip. I mean, this will glue it down, is what I'm thinking. That you just take it and pop it down like that. Look at that. And then that just sticks it to it. I mean, how cool is that, you guys? That is so much fun. Let's see, did I do it the wrong way? Oh, I think I did. <laughs> I did the shiny side up. So, look at that. That's kind of fun. So now that I did that, I'm going to turn it this way and do the shiny side down. I was just looking at it going, why is it so shiny? Okay, well, that answered that. Is this really neat? Look at that. Okay. So that just goes down nicely like that. And then you just take another little piece here. and I mean, this is so much fun just to put into your mixed media stuff. art journals and look at that that is so much fun okay, let's get another one with some different colors in it I mean look at this I know that's shiny so let's do this maybe. is that cool I mean look at that because some of it you could see through, which is really neat to me. So let's do this. And it rips really nicely. Oh, and how fun is this? This is really fun to play with. 
So I'd love to hear if you guys are enjoying this video and hit the like button. That really helps me out. It gets my video out there more for others to see. And uh, comment down below. Yeah, let me know if you guys tried this or tag me, you know, it's uh, Snowstorm Crafts. Tag me in anything that you guys post on any social media and I'll come check it out. I'll comment below and yeah, that'd be fun. That'd be super fun. So I'm just thinking if there's not enough glue or gesso or anything, just kind of get some underneath it like that. There we go. You could even use your water and glue solution. I'm just kind of pop that down. I mean, is this really cool? So you can just play around with it. Like that. So my suggestion is if you're going to do it without the gesso behind it or anything like that, I would just use, you know, water and glue mixture and just kind of put that down first and then lay this on top and let it dry. So, yeah. So I'm going to continue just decorating this and we'll go from there. Okay, so another thing you guys can do if you don't want to glue down or if you don't want to use the gesso to stick these down just heat it up with your heat gun. Just take your heat gun and heat it up and it adheres to the page. So how fun is that? So you could just take it to uh, anything that you have. Like you could do a fun scrap piece of paper. I know I got paint right here. I'm probably gonna wind up putting something in it. But say you got some, you know, packaging paper or something like that. You could just take it. Let's try this and just pop this down. Just make sure you're putting the shiny side down. Okay. So here, let's just rip off a piece here. Like this. And I'm just gonna place it right there in the middle. And I'm gonna go ahead and do this in a time lapse so you guys don't have to hear the heat gun and stuff, so. Wow, that worked out awesome. Look at that. So all you're gonna do is just take your heat gun to it and it is on there. I mean, it's not coming off. That is really neat. So there you go. And you could just take it and just heat it up, put it wherever you want it. You could do all kinds of fun things with this. Wow. So I hope you guys are liking that sort of though. I think that's pretty fun. I just kind of figured that out when I was heating this up. To dry everything else, it was suctioning those down better. And I'm like, whoa, there you go. Okay, and I wanted to show you guys. You do some stenciling. I did a video the other day, and I'll make sure to put that on the end screen of me making homemade stencils. So you can make your own stencils here. Um, let's do this one. Just to get some interest going here. So it's just kind of fun, just gives it a nice little background. Okay, so we got that one, and then just do a little bit here. Okay. All right, so we got that far. I mean, this is so much fun. You could do all kinds of stuff different little things with it. So I was thinking, what if I did this? This is out of a, a quilting magazine. I think it'd be kind of fun to do, just play around here. Um, let's see. I can't tell which way is top or bottom. I don't know if it matters. But how fun would that be to do just something? A little focal point. I think I should go that way. I'm gonna go sideways with it. There we go. 
I'll put something down here for fun. Yeah, and it's got a really cool feel to it. This is kind of fun. Right, so I'm gonna dry this and we'll see what we came up with here. Okay, so this turned out really cool. I'm really loving the heat and bond in the background. And it also has another name, um, Fusible Web is what it, it's another name for it, for the, like the heat and bond stuff. Uh, it's great. I mean, use your heat gun. How cool is that? And it just kind of does it down. Or you can, you know, do your gesso or your glue and water and then just set it down and it still, it works great. And then I just did some magazine pages, just did some fall fun little things and just some words from magazine like creation, marvelous, keepsake, unique, paper, papers, craft, and then I did like the letter C. So that's just fun things you can find in a magazine. And didn't I did dictionary pages behind it. So incorporated all that in there. And then uh, this little quilted sunflower, I went ahead and took uh, one of my China markers. I did a little bit on that and I didn't really like the way that turned out as much. So I used the just one of these jelly roll white pens. And I just got it just at my local store, just the little craft store and stuff. So those work, that worked great on here. Uh, Cause sometimes you can use those and they don't work on a good, you know, on a surface that well. But for some reason it was coming up really nicely on here. So I just like continued and kept going with it. So that kind of brought that out a little bit. I know I'm turning it like that cause there's no glare when it's like that. And, um, also, if you guys don't want to glare and you want to take out magazine glare on your magazine pages, uh, I will post that link on the end screen and I got a whole playlist of different uh, videos taken the, out of calendar, like calendar pages, how they're shiny and magazine pages. And uh, so I got a fun little solution that you can use it's, it's, and it's a home remedy. So you can find it around your house and it takes the shine out of stuff. So it's really nice. Um, then I went through and took my little pastels here. I just got these pastels and I have this down in my, um, Amazon links below. And if I don't remind me, but I think I do. So this is just the pastels and I went through and took some black, went around and just smudged it with my finger just to kind of pop everything out to make it so it made it like a little frame behind it and pop all the leaves and stuff out. Then did some around the edges and just some plus and little lines, little markings all around just for funsies. So yeah. And if you want to make it so this doesn't smear like with the pastels and stuff, you can do, uh, I've heard, I never actually tried it, but I think you could do aerosol like hairspray on it. I mean, I'd be careful doing that. Just kind of, but I think that keeps it down. And uh, there's also certain sprays that is for pastel that you can, you know, you can find them on Amazon and stuff like that that you spray. But I don't have any because I don't sell anything that usually has pastels like this on it. I just keep it for myself. And I'll just keep a piece of deli paper in between so it doesn't smear too much. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it informational. And if you could please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and you guys can see my next video when I post it. Like, comment, and share, and let's grow together.
and keep on crafting.